Hi, this is Vaughn and Ease with Brandy. How are you today, Vaughn? I'm doing really good. You know, spring is in full effect. It is April. It is here. There are vaccines available for everyone under the age of 40. Oh, wait, doesn't it go to 30-year-olds in like a week or two or something? Six, I believe. Um, I think it's like April 6th that they start available for 30-year-olds. Yes, and like in Connecticut, anyone on 16 and up can get the vaccine. So it depends on where you live. So we're about to like open up and everything is about to be on and popping, shall we say, for summer. I'm st- I still feel a little bit of trepidation because I don't know if I'm going to be doing the things I would normally do, like brunch, you know? What if it's a buffet? Like, am I supposed to now go up to the little tray with the spoon that falls into the, <laughs> the rectangle thing and put my potatoes on it? No. Like, you know, my, my theory about brunch is brunches were no before COVID, so yeah. No. Really? Why? Not brunch, buffets. Buffets were no before COVID. Buffets were always an ODM. Yes. Why? Very specific buffet experiences. As soon as the door opens up, where you can get like the dip of the experience, maybe I'm open to that concept. Outside of that, it's just weird. It's just like a bunch of big food. It's like people just constantly going back and forth, just like piling stuff on their plate. It's just not, I just, that environment just doesn't work for me. And you're not a fan of the piling on the plate experience. <laughs> you can't even watch other people pile on their plates. Yeah. It makes oh, it inedible for you. Yes, it is challenging for the environment. Okay. Um, I used to go to buffets. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm that bougie. I well, I like to go buffet, you know, um, but sort of like when you go to Whole Foods in Midtown, I don't know if any of you have been there, like 59th Street, and you see like the little old man. No, I'm not, no age discrimination here, but just like the little old man, like eating, like, it's so gross. He'll be like eating the little um, pit, yeah. like the, what are those called? The, the, like the, the olives. And um, he'll be like putting the pit back in the, the oh. and I'm not trying to play men, but I've only seen old men do that. Okay. I have never seen a woman <laughs> do that of any age. What we would do is actually put it into the little container and walk around the store and eat it and then put yeah. it into our individual container. And and that and when you see that, you're just sort of like, and then so that was pre-COVID. You know, they used to have like the olive station at Whole Foods. And now I just feel like you go into places and those things, they like, they completely rejig the whole store. So it doesn't even look like those even existed. And I think that that's a good idea because if I had to see that old man over that, uh, those olives one more time, it's going to be a misunderstanding. <laughs> okay. Free. So are you brunching? Are you brunching this season? Okay. Ooh. Okay. So I think that when it comes to the vaccine, I think Brandy and I discussed this. You're getting the vac. It depends on what your family unit is doing. So like my family unit is vaccinated. These black people are vaccinated. <laughs> like that's what we're doing. Okay. My mama did it. My auntie did it. And they're the two seniors. And then my sister's mother, my sister's um, mother-in-law did it. And those are the three seniors. And then like my, my older sister did it. My other sister did it. And like her husband did it. So I'm like expected to do it or I don't get to come to the barbecue. <laughs> How crazy is that? Get the vaccine or you can't get a burger. Like it's insane. It's kind of like that Krispy Kreme thing. Have you heard about Krispy Kreme giving out free donuts for people who have get, gotten the vaccination so if you go to Krispy Kreme and get a free donut every day as long as you show that you're vaccinated but listen I don't have a problem with positive reinforcement because I think that sometimes people that's positive reinforcement sweet Hold on, I think okay. donut is positive reinforcement yes it is because people you know I think that it will make 
our society a healthier society overall the more people who are vaccinated okay you know not that i'm not scared to get vaccinated not that the tuskegee experiment is not still right here right here right here it's right here in my brain okay i am scared i feel that way too however you know so many people have gotten it and no one that i know has grown a tail yet so and since they walking around with just two legs no tail you know, I I think it might be time for me to just like fight the bullet, take my fear of needles, throw it to the side, and just go for it. Got it, got it. No, I mean, listen, I think that the vaccine is your choice. Like, if you if you want to do it, it makes sense. If you have more access to people, it makes sense. If you don't, um, so yeah. what's your family unit doing? Are y'all vaccinating? Are y'all doing it? No, my family unit is not vaccinated, but now one of my family units is considering vaccine. So it's an interesting, like my current family unit is considering vaccine. My grandparents have gotten, and when I say like my grandparents have gotten it, my parents are considering it. Um, and then the people that I hang out with here, now there's conversation about one of them possibly getting it. So I don't- I know, I don't, before we were like, no, Tuskegee, was, it was always here. Now- it's it's moved from the back of my brain to the front. <laughs> you know, my challenge is the my challenge is just the um. You get it, but you can still. It's like for me, it's a semantic thing. Honestly, like I know me. It's like you call it a vaccine, but for me, it feels like a antibody booster. And I don't know if that's a vaccine, right? So, like vaccines, from my understanding, are that they supposed to prevent um you from getting something or cure you from something, right? But if I can still get it and I can still pass it, it's not really a vaccine. Um, it, it did, people did say, at least what my understanding is that you, if you get it, it's not deadly. Yes. Um, so that's, that's, that's the a, problem. Yeah. Um, it's not giving it to other people because any of those you could give to other people. But the fact that so many people have died, and I would hate to be the one that gave something to someone and then they're no longer here. Just that, that has to be a horrible feeling, you know? Got it. Got it. So back to our topic as far as Bronx. I mean, I know this is all kind of like circled into like, you know, everything has to be. That's, that's what I'm saying. So now brunch is open. And yeah, so brain. Oh, and my yeah. brunching, I probably will brunch because these are things that I like cannot let go of. And my buffet brunching, probably not. I think that that's one of the business that has gone away with COVID. The buffet is dead. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, even the Topols. I went there the other day because I was seeing for they have a um they have a chocolate chip a vegan chocolate chip cookie and a ginger snap that I really like. And just not even thinking that I'm not going to be able to go and like open up the thing and like grab because you know like before that's what you used to do and I had yes. been the whole food the whole time. Um, I had gotten food delivered from Whole Foods. But I had physically been it. So that like I walked past and I was like, oh, I need some ginger snap. And then I go in, and first off, everything's wrapped in plastic. So that's just a whole different experience. Yes. Second off, they didn't even have my cookie. <laughs> I know. So yeah, anyway. I feel you. Just like, I mean, even just with that, there are so many things that we're not going to be able to enjoy as much anymore. But I think it's worth it because I personally believe that we were wilding out in New York, like, I told you the story about the people on the train holding the pole while they're eating a slice of pizza and you nom, 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 and then you holding the pole and nom, nom, nom. that is a lot. We as a society were doing way too much. Okay. okay. We were like germs be damned. <laughs> right? Definitely. <laughs> so listen, guys, to help you decide if brunching is something like that you're gonna do, we have a conversation, an interview with a herbologist, uh, Dr. Simone Lord, where Vaughn and I have a conversation with her to kind of help give us some strategies and some tips to be able to um, go out and eat if you decide to, and how to manage um, just being around crowds again as we start to navigate this post, I will call it post-COVID, because I think COVID is going to be around for a minute, but the post introduction of a vaccine that will help us to best manage COVID life. All right, so if you're considering brunching, even though we're in the middle of a um, pandemic, 
No judgments, Brandy, the way you said that. Right? <laughs> but, but no. <laughs> right? I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, what we always like to do, as Ron and Nisha pointed out, no judgment. So the Easy Answer podcast is all about helping you find a solution to whatever it is that you're trying to do in order to stay well. So we have Dr. Lord here to talk about some ways that we can build our immunity and detox our bodies and detox our bodies first so that we can actually receive all of that good stuff to um, boost our immunity. So like we said, if you would decide to brunch, we've got an easy answer for you right here. So Dr. Lord, welcome to the Easy Answer Podcast. How are you doing today? We're doing good. Thank you. Hi, Vonice. Hi, everyone. So I like the idea of going to brunch. However, before we go out there to brunch again, we really want to boost up our immune system so that the people around us who might have uh, been in contact with someone with COVID or may have COVID sitting right next to you or a couple of seats down. We want to boost our system so that when we go home 24, 48 hours later, we don't start coughing and, you know, being in bed for a long time. So how do we do this? So I recently did go out. Um, it was a party. I went to my friend's party, her birthday party, and there was a lot of people there. And as much as you try to social distance, a party is a party. And yeah. it's very hard to keep your mask <laughs> on and drink at the same time. And yes. eat at the same time. Because we're also new to wearing masks, you know? And now they have masks with holes in them, but who knows if bacteria gets on the hole, right? Exactly. And then what about when you go get a drink? So mm -hmm. you have to touch the bottle the you know whatever drink you get you have to touch it to pour sometimes so they they had sorrel they had moby a lot of caribbean drinks and stuff but you had to touch it to pour it oh wow so you know it was a i was kind of bewildered you know i was trying to get out of there because i didn't feel too comfortable like but, how did you feel like i would have felt trepidation did you feel like mm, like it would have made me un like very uncomfortable I wasn't that uncomfortable because I work here at my juice bar. And so okay. people come in with COVID. So I'm not afraid of COVID because okay. people come here with it all the time. They and tell um, you they have it? Sometimes they do. Sometimes they need treatment. Sometimes they say, well, you know, yeah, I got diagnosed with COVID. Can you help me? So oh, okay. I, I help them. We, ha we have to help them, you know, and then sometimes the staff might help them and then the staff might feel, we feel a little bug sometimes. So as soon as we feel that little bug go down our throat, like itchy, 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 we kill that bug. <laughs> That's what we do, we kill it. So how okay. do we kill it? We kill it with golden seal. We get, okay. take a little drop of, I always have a little vial of golden seal in my pocketbook. You know, some people walk around with pepper sauce. I walk around with golden seal. And I also have a bit of cayenne in my pocketbook too. Mm -hmm. But what that does is that it um it kills the bug right away. You know, uh, my son had had COVID, and we went on a trip after he, you know, got a look, got better. We went on a trip, but I was sitting in his front seat, and I felt a bug go down my throat. I was like, <laughs> "What's that?" So I reached in my pocketbook, got out the golden seal, and took a drip, and immediately, no more bug, bug gone. So <laughs> I know what you mean. Like there's these cough drops that I use all the time and they, they're the Ricola ones that have echinacea in them. And I always, um, like whenever I'm on the train, cause I feel like everyone on the train has COVID. Like, let's just be honest. Anyone on the subway in New York has COVID. Okay. I always have those echinacea, those cough drops with a little bit of echinacea. And I always instantly feel better. Like if I feel a little cough, I know what you mean. It feels, it feels like there's a bug in your throat, literally. Yeah. Yeah. And so I always like, I, like I keep those cough drops on me constantly. And I, I had COVID actually in March last year and I have not felt anything since then. Good. Good. Yeah. That echinacea does really good to boost the immune system as well. You know, we have a tea here. I call it the anti-COVID tea, but it's really, uh, the clinical name is Dr. Lord's olive leaf tea formula and it has echinacea it has mullein it has some dandelion and the ingredient of um the antiviral ingredient 
that's very important and that's very potent olive leaf. So the olive leaf extract or the olive leaf itself, it's antiviral, it's antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory. So you can use it for pretty much everything. This is a healing herb that goes back to the Bible gen generations. They used it. I, I suspect that Jesus used this herb too. I really do. <laughs> do you suspect that good word for Jesus? <laughs> Oh, and the, 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 yes, uh, Brandy, I really think he, he used it. And people mm -hmm. say tea form, like, or is it an oil? Is it a tea, a tincture? How do they prepare? Just like a regular tea brew? Yeah, we can do it as a tea. I do it. I do it as a tea. Like for example, after that birthday party, um, Friday night, Saturday I was okay, but Sunday I was feeling a little bit funny, so I um I brewed a tea. I had I had it really really strong, a nice strong cup of the olive leaf and um, it, I'm fine. It went to, you know, that little bug or whatever was trying to invade my system to try to get in there and do some havoc. We wasn't having it. So he had to, <laughs> he had to die. <laughs> so we, we got him because I'm, I'm feeling a hundred percent better. Sometimes this works in 20 minutes. It's so strong. So, but if you let the COVID set in like days, oh, oh, I'm not feeling well, you know, and days after days go, then it takes longer now for the, uh, the tea to work, for the formula to work, because you let it set in there, you let it get into your system. So you have to drink the tea as preventative medicine as well. You, the more you drink, we have all sorts of shots and different things. We drink that, you know, we make, we make it happen over here at the juice bar. I think that sometimes like people are going out because, you know, there's your, there's your physical health, but then there's your mental health too. Like we're social beings. We need to be out with other people, you know, and one, we need to be out with other people. Then two, there are some people that are, you know, that are mentally that have, you know, suffer from depression or, you know, or that feel that that's up from depression or bipolar or have other issues. Do you have any teas that can help, you know, boost, like after you work out, you know, that boost endorphins. Do you have any teas that can help boost endorphins? Yeah, we do. We have, um, so we have like a hibiscus honey tincture and mm -hmm. uh, that really picks you up. Um, we also have something called the energy elixir. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the energy elixir, I say it like that because, you know, I get very tired because I do a lot of work in different businesses. And so I wear a lot of hats. So I get like exhausted. And Friday, I had a big event that we had planned. And then I had to go to the birthday party too. And then I had to cook all day for the clients. So it was, it was like, trouble <laughs> it was too much <laughs> and the adrenaline was just flowing you know and I, I didn't eat it was it was a hard time for me so around around 4 p.m I started crashing like where I could I could you know I, I'm like somebody hold me up <laughs> it was that bad I was like trying not to show it but I was kind of you know really crashing there so I had to make some energy elixir for a client anyway I had to make a new batch because it goes really fast. And I made a batch and I had some hot and the, the results were immediate. I had just a, a one ounce shot and it, it's elderberries, it's Cassandra berries, it's ginger, it's ginkgo, it's some honey. And that shot just, it just like boosts me up. So I was looking so, so good for that party. Nobody could tell I had worked from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. and yeah. then go to the party and cook and deliver and oh, oh my goodness, it's a lot. But that energy elixir, it picks you up and it makes you feel good. Also some clients, some people that come in here, they say that it um, helped them to sleep a little well too because the Cassandra berries, it manages the stress hormones. So the body is not feeling like in so much stress and bewildered anymore. Like, how am I going to keep standing? How am I going to keep going? Mm -hmm. That stress is uh, managed where you can relax a bit. The ginkgo picks the mind up too. So yes. you get a pep in your step. So you could go on, do some more work. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this effective really? Was that immediate effect 
on you because you already have a really clean system and so your body's prepared to receive all of that goodness from those herbs with, or is it regardless of where you are on your journey like this particular thing will help you it's been report the people are reporting that it's helping them it's picking them up immediately that's why i can barely keep it in stock because it's something that i make so you know they they're saying that you know this is picking them up you know, that one is a good one, especially for people who have like a little depression and stuff like that, like suffer from a little depression, which is kind of like everybody right about now because I of know, the time, right? right? The times that we all are live suffering at. from the winter blues, you know? Yeah, and from the COVID blues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it, it works pretty good. We also have another thing that works really good. We call this one the power shot. So this one is um, this one is really good for if to kill that bug too. So after we do that, all of that set of stuff to the bug, it's like poor bug. It's like oh, you gotta die. <laughs> it goes away. It's gone. It's damp. <laughs> now I know we're specifically talking about COVID, but is this effective for any type of virus in the body, or is it specifically? Yes. Okay. No, any virus. We have we have something here called the um. What is it called? It's like super immunity. I don't make that one. Okay, that's the capsule, which I had after the birthday party. I had two of those too. But this one, it kills herpes, any kind of virus in your system. It will kill it. And it does have the olive in it too. And it does have astralagus. So if any time that you have like a cold and you need it to go like, you know, you just feel it coming on the onset, and you need to go maybe to a wedding or to a party or something, you should give me a call so that this is where you can stop it right away. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Lord. This information was amazing. We can't wait to have you uh, back again to continue to share all of these strategies and herbs and natural <laughs> to kill the bug. Kill and you said kill the bug. <laughs> send us a drink, a lick. send us one of those energy teas I could, with the honey. I love the that. energy elixir, I got you. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So we will see you again. Um, see you again soon. Take care. Okay. See you. Bye bye.